This is the Vancouver film industry at its best. We went from Arctic tundra to desert. It's a living, breathing thing. And then we were on a bridge, and then we could have been in the jungle, and that's astonishing. This was a training opportunity, and yet it feels like we all made eight micro short films. Uh, Animism partnered with the DGC to uh, provide a space, uh, a workshop for the Directors Guild to, uh, to come together and explore the technology and kind of demystify some of the workflow of how to use this in a real production. We were approached by Animism and the DGC to put together this training. What ended up happening was it, it grew in scope and all of a sudden everybody got really involved and excited. I wanted to be a part of this because I know that this is the next stage of filmmaking and this is really the future. We're shooting on two-dimensional panels, but inside a 3D environment. And what brings that all together is the fact that we're tracking the camera so that as the camera moves, it creates a realistic level of parallax or shift between the three-dimensional objects inside that view window. So it appears as though everything is in 3D even though you're shooting on a 2D wall. We have walls that are LED, but we're still using motion capture to sort of track the location of the camera and how that translates into the 3D environment that we're projecting on the walls. We're really just expanding the toolkit that creators have to give them the opportunity to tell stories in ways that would have been cost prohibitive or just simply impossible before. They had told us that there would be the brain bar of technicians off to the side. And I remember glancing over and it looked like Mission Control in Houston. That was just distracting, so I didn't look over there anymore. But it was incredible to think of all of these technicians who are just helping me get what I think are the best shots to tell this story. I was a little worried that um, shooting in the volume would be too technical, that I wouldn't be able to get the performance and you know, the, the story, the artistic freedom that I wanted. Yeah. Great, cut. That's but it. I did. So it, it smashed my preconceptions of what is achievable. With virtual production, really, it's, it's a convergence of traditional tools and, and uh, traditional filmmaking tools and digital tools. The part that I find most exciting about it is, is just seeing people learn it. One of the benefits of shooting with the LED walls is that they provide reflections of the environment onto surfaces. So I figured if I could find the most reflective costuming and I guess accessories, then we would get the most out of the environment. There's a magic in this technology and I think the, what it opens up and allows for us as creators is just limitless. Usually a turnaround takes about 45 minutes, but this took us about 20 minutes and we had time to get all our shots. The flexibility is unparalleled. We've never had this before. As a producer, I think this will make so much more financial sense. I don't actually have to keep worrying about the light all the time. It's 12 hours of the same light, are you kidding me? That's a, oh yeah, that's a, a godsend. All the different directors were really, you know, helping each other out. And it was uh, great to hear from each director as soon as they got done with their session. They shared what they were learning with the directors after them. And cut! I think what I really learned from it and what I think all of us sort of took away is everything is possible with this technology. It's not going to hamper storytelling, it's going to increase our storytelling ability. Vancouver is a perfect spot for development of a virtual production film industry. There is already an enormous post hub here and a fantastic and very well resourced film community. Right now I'd say we're, we're ready. We're mini Mandalorians now. If you want to continue working in film, I think this is the technology to learn. It's not new tech to us anymore, now it's just great tech. Just the things that we came up with with not very much money because we were working together toward the goal of making this community stronger and more employable because we understand a technology that is on the vanguard of the future and uh, I just am so excited that I got to be a part of that. Excellent!